Introducing PrintShift, a person mini modification that turns it into a miniature factory. Right now we're making some quick cats, just demonstrating the part ejection that is the core of this project. An important note on this conveyor belt 3D printer is that we are using the bed heater. The goal is to be able to print all available materials so the bed is both heated and easily swapped out. The part ejection leaves as much of the mini unmodified as possible. The firmware is stock, the bed is mostly stock. It has been lifted 4 millimeters to give the belt roller space. For this upgrade, I've attached 5 16 rollers to either side of the print bed. On the left is the drive roller with the gear linkage to an off-bed worm gear motor. This keeps the bed lightweight enough that the Prusa Mini can run on its original acceleration profiles. Right side has the idler with a screw-driven tensioner built into the bed mount. This lets you easily replace and tension the bed. And you do need a lot of tension to keep it flat. The bed is 0.2 millimeter thick capped on fill. Part of this project is experimenting with other bed materials, such as PEI and Mylar. The conveyor belt's control system is either clever or idiotic. Let me know what you think. There are certainly pros and cons, but recall that my main goal was to modify the Mini as little as possible. So here's the system, a single bit computer known as a micro switch. When you want to shift the print, you move the bed forwards to the ejection position, then move the z-axis upwards to trigger the micro switch. This is all handled in the start and end g-code, again, no firmware modification. My goal in this upgrade was to keep it as easy and as safe as possible to get as many people as I can to upgrade their printers. I've also added, of course, a Raspberry Pi running OctoPrint, because when your printer can pr remove its own parts, you don't need to visit it to clear the bed. With OctoPrint, I can start prints from anywhere, monitor the progress, cancel and reprint as need. Both the camera mount and the Pi case were printed on this machine. My printers have always been expected to upgrade themselves. The Z-Spinner OctoCat was printed here, too. I am running a Patreon around the print shift project, but it remains open source. My first 3D printer was a Prusa Mendel RepRap, and the amount of improvements we've seen in 3D printing is largely due to the open source nature of that project. So please, if you listen so far, start building your own. Files are all free. Links to the GitHub in the description. Thanks.